السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد قال الله تعالى أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أصابكم من مصيبة فبما كسبت أيديكم ويعفو الكثير صدق الله العظيم All praise and due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى Blessing salutations of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and faithful companion, sahaba, sahabiya, tabi'in, and tabi'i tabi'a and upon a complete uh, uh, ummat al-muslimi My respected brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the ayah which I read that what are the calamities, what are the challenges, the difficulties our toughness and the hard situation comes in our life Actually, the seed has been placed by our own self. So when we place the seed by our own self, now it is our duty is to look for the solutions to solve the problem. So in regards to that, it always comes in the narrations that our few things are very important. Number one, as we see Prophet Muhammad recommended to his nation, Prophet Ibrahim recommended to his nation, Prophet Musa recommended to his nation, and at the last night, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed and recommended to his nation but to show the importance of this act, how helpful and beneficial. He says, I seek Allah's forgiveness 70 times a day and night, I seek Allah's forgiveness. Saying, astaghfirullah, asking Allah, Ya Allah, forgive me. Ya Allah, bless me. Ya Allah, forgive me. Who was asking 70 times? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa So at this tough time, the first thing I like to uh, seek a tawfiq from Allah for myself and same time I like to share others that we need to maximize this istighfar. Astaghfirullah, 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 astaghfirullah. It looks so simple, but it absolutely does not mean that something it looks so simple and easy in our tongue and we can do it. It worth nothing and has not a uh, big impact. But in fact, istighfar is the solution for all problems. Time definitely will not allow to just get a better idea and explanation and understand. Please read Surah al nuh then we'll come to understand the istighfar, in fact, has been declared by Prophet Nuh the uh, solutions for the all problem. So first thing we need to do is stuff. We think to ourselves and do the muhasaba, uh, accountability of our own self, that Nabi, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to seek 70 times istighfar. 70 times istighfar from Allah. Allah's forgiveness, subhanAllah. How many times do I and do we are making istighfar to Allah every day in the daily basis? So istighfar is something we can say it in Arabic, that is the greatest, because this is the word of uh, Allah, 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 as has been taught by Nabi Allah, and Adam came from the mouth of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this is the language of Adilna, paradise. And if we can so, we can see Allah's forgiveness in any language. Whatever language, A, B, C, we may be speaking, we can speak to ask Allah, Ya Allah, I'm seeking your forgiveness. Forgive me, forgive my parents, forgive my family, forgive my brothers and sisters. And at the Lord, we should be a rich heart. Ya Allah, forgive the whole nation. Forgive all Ummah. Ya Allah, bless them all. And when we are seeking istighfar, it can be seek anytime. While we are sitting in a musalla, masjid, while we are driving, while we are doing at the work, while we are laying down, when we are alone, while we are in a gathering, istighfar can be done at any time. Number one. And second thing is the sadaqat. The charity is something absolutely not. That so when it comes to the Friday, we do it to the masjid, or when we see any fundraising, we do give a charity. But in fact, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if anything stop the calamities, subhanAllah, <coughs> anything stop the calamities, and hold us Allah's anger and punishment, and that is sadaqat. And the charity is more beloved in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which are given in a consistent basis. Sometimes what happens, we donate $100, $200, $20, $5, and for the whole of a week we are done. 
In this case, we should donate a one dollar every week, every day in our house. I mean, we may need to have a one jar, one, one container. We put whatever base on. The numbers in Islam have nothing to do. Someone can donate five, someone can donate ten, but someone can donate just five cents. But this is his capacity and he has a full sincerity and ikhlas. It was worth more than $5,000 in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised at one occasion to his beloved wife, any deed has been done consistent basis, consistently, ongoing, continuously, that is way greater than that, a person does tons, and then he stops. Allah like the deed which are consistently. So the charity has a big impact in our life and it has very considered a very valuable act in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the charity is absolutely something is not that when everything is fabulous and everything is going great, then <clears> when <throat> out of happiness we just give it. But in fact, sometimes we give that up whatever we can to save ourselves from the worst situation we can approach in our life, to our family, to our parents, to our children, to the community, and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the second thing. And the last is a dua, a dua, asking Allah, being very honest, very honest. This is what I have noticed. Maybe a people may be making and seeking. Something I saw is lacking in this world, in Western world, because we have a good job, mashallah, we have good revenue, we drive a good car, we have a big house and bungalows, we are in a good position, having good revenue. Everything is great, but one thing is very lacking. I see that very less people are making a du'as. A supplication to the levels, to the levels, the tears fall from that. Being very honest, something I learned from my own father, who I prayed behind my father. Sometimes he makes so long du'as, so long du'as, that even I, I was like, for how long he is making and what else he's asking. But we should ask Allah everything, even the small things. And there's one more, more important thing. When he's alone praying sometime at the house, usually what happens when we are alone, we just make a quick dua because there's... At that moment, I find sometimes he makes a 15-minute dua. Oh, like, ya Allah. Then I came to realize that if ever, if ever we are smiling, things are going fantastic and joyful, there is a reason behind some dua and prayers are covering you. And whose dua could be more powerful than other parents? So make sure we need to make a dua. Ask Allah. Ask Allah for our own self. Ask Allah for our needs. Ask Allah for our necessities. Ask Allah uh, to solve our problem. Ask Allah to change our situation. And then definitely Allah is there to listen each and everything we seek and we ask as any mother has been demanded and requested. And then the mother fulfilled the demands of the kid. Allah love Allah. Uh, his uh, creation, his slave, more than a mother. So the last thing is we need to make a dua as much as we can. And the dua can be made anytime. It doesn't have to be after salah. It can be made anytime. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to bring these three sifat into ourselves. And may Allah make ease of our life and save us from the day.